guys, my name's Andrea and I'm going to take you through a yoga session today. So if you'd like to come and find yourself in a nice comfortable seated position on your mat, you want to be wearing nice loose comfortable clothing and maybe have a cushion or two next to you if you need them for little props or maybe a blanket for at the end of your yoga session, coming into Shavasana, lovely relaxation. So you can either sit with your legs crossed like me, or if that's not comfortable, you can stretch your legs out nice and long, and sit with your legs long. I just want you to be mindful of what your pelvis is doing. If it's tilting backwards, we're going to get a rounding in the spine, and a rounding in the shoulders, and it's just not comfortable. So I want you to try and bring that pelvis forward. And that can be done as well if you're crossing your legs again, if you've got that pelvis tilted back, we're going to round in the spine and it's just not comfortable. By bringing that pelvis forward, it allows us to lengthen up the spine, sitting with a nice straight posture. This is where your cushion could come in handy. If you are struggling to bring that pelvis forward, you're sitting on the edge of your cushion. We don't want to sit right on the middle, because then that pelvis is going to dip back. You want to sit on the edge, bringing that pelvis forward, and then either rest your hands on your knees, or you can bring them together, one hand on top of the other in your lap, okay? So take a few moments to get yourself nice and comfy, it's important. And then we're going to focus on the breath. The breath is very important in a yoga class, so it's going to lead us through the poses, okay? So again, once you've got yourself nice and comfy, have a little move around. Feel for those sit bones at the bottom of your spine. Maybe have a little move from side to side. And you should feel those two bones and kind of pivot along the edges of them. When you've found them, press them into the mat again. Bring that pelvis slightly forward. Rest in the hands and then take a deep breath in. I want you to lift and lengthen up through the body. So lifting and lengthening through the heart all the way to the crown of the head. And then as you exhale, roll those shoulders back and get them nice and relaxed, okay? And then you can either take your gaze down to the floor or if it feels comfortable for you, close your eyes. And we're just going to have a few moments of tuning in with the breath, bringing all of our awareness to your breath. Breathing in and out through the nose, nice smooth, deep breath. With every inhale, we lengthen up through the body, lengthening through the spine, lifting the heart, lifting the crown of the head. And as you exhale, keep that length, but relax the shoulders down and back. Inhaling, lifting and lengthening. And exhaling, softening and relaxing. And noticing where you feel the breath in the body. As you inhale, you might feel your tummy rise, your chest expand, your shoulders lift. Maybe you can feel the cool air coming in through the nostrils. And then as you exhale, noticing the changes in the body, becoming heavier, more relaxed, sinking back down. Inhaling, body expanding, cool breath in the nostrils. Exhaling, softening and relaxing. Just noticing where you feel the breath in the body. And allowing the rest of the body to be still. Only the ebb and flow of the breath coming in and out. Flowing and moving the body, nice and relaxed. As you exhale, relax the brow, soften around the eyes, relax the jaw, and welcome a lovely heavy feeling to the shoulders, allowing them to fall down away from the ears, and let that heavy sensation flow down through the arms into the hands and then just take a moment to notice how you're feeling right now so checking in with the body noticing any aches or pains any tightness or tension 
being mindful of any injuries or illnesses. But also looking out for any areas that are feeling good today. So maybe you've got a niggle, but maybe today's a good day. And then bring your awareness up to your mind. And notice how you're feeling emotionally and mentally right now. Remember to do this without criticizing or overanalyzing or adding to your to-do list or adding to your worries. I just want you to notice how you're feeling physically and mentally and accept that. That's how you're feeling today and that's okay. It's okay. And then bring your awareness back to the breath for me. important that you listen to your body during this yoga practice and do what feels right for you. And we'll rest out at any time and join back in whenever you're ready. We're going to take three sighing breaths now. We're going to breathe in through the nose and then sigh out through the mouth. And use this opportunity to get rid of any stresses or anxieties or anything that's not serving you in a positive way today. So you can just go in your own time or you can join in with me. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And let it out through the mouth. Two more. yourself back to your natural rhythm of breathing. And when it feels nice for you, slowly open the eyes with a soft focus. Lovely, well done. So we're just going to change the cross of the legs if you've got your legs crossed. If your legs are straight, just keep them up stretched nice and long. Then take a nice gentle twist. So bring the hands to the heart centre for me. Thumbs pointing towards your heart. Remember, nice long spine. Take a deep breath in, sweep those arms up, lengthen through the body. And as you exhale, you're gonna twist around, bringing your opposite hand, palm facing upon your opposite knee. And the other hand is gonna come really close to the tailbone. I'm gonna turn around so you can see what I'm doing. So that hand is really close to the tailbone. If we have it right back, we're leaning back and it's just not a good posture, okay? So making sure we've got that hand close to the tailbone and then take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen through the heart, lift the crown of the head and as you exhale, twist a little deeper so you're gazing over your shoulder. Feel free to close the eyes here and again bringing that awareness to the breath. With every inhale we lift and lengthen through the body and as you exhale, maybe noticing a little space to twist a little deeper into it. That's lovely. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, we're going to come back to the centre. We're just going to do that on the other side. Take a deep breath in. Sweep those arms up. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And as you exhale, twisting around the opposite side. Again, that hand behind you is coming really close to the tailbone. Sitting up nice and straight. Take a deep breath in. Lift the heart. Lift the crown of the head. And as you exhale, twist a little deeper, gazing over your shoulder. Again, feel free to close your eyes here. We're going to stay for a couple of breaths. With every inhale, lengthening through the body. And exhaling, maybe twisting a little deeper. Maybe. That's gorgeous. Take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, come back to the centre. We're going to come in for a little side stretch. Take a deep breath in, reaching up again. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your hands down on the mat beside you. Reach away with one hand, spread your fingers and press your fingertips into your mat. With your other arm, you're going to reach up on an inhale. And as you exhale, take a side stretch. I want you to relax the shoulders here and relax the head, okay? And what I don't want is you gazing down and compressing the chest. I want you to lift the heart up to the sky. Gazing upwards if that's comfortable. If not, just keep your gaze in line with the spine. 
Take a deep breath in and really reach those fingers away. And as you exhale, press the sit bones down into the mat. Stay and breathe. Beautiful. With the hand that's on the floor, inhale, come all the way up. And as you exhale, bring your other hand down. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Spread the fingers, press your fingertips and thumbs into the mat. Inhale, take your other arm up. And as you exhale, take that stretch across. Remember, we're relaxing the shoulders and head. We're rotating the chest upwards. Inhaling, reaching away with those fingertips. And exhaling, maybe press those sit bones down into the mat. And breathe. Pressing your hands into your mat. Inhale, coming up and exhale, release. I'd like you to interlace your hands behind your back for me. And then take a lovely deep breath in. Lift your heart, roll your shoulders back. Lift your gaze and stay and breathe. Beautiful, well done. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release the pose. We're going to come into child's pose now, balasana. So wonderful, relaxing pose. It's a nice one to do before bed if you're feeling a little bit stressed and can't quite relax. It's a beautiful, relaxing pose. And also, if you're feeling that the practice is a little bit too much today and you feel a little bit fatigued and you need to rest out, child's pose is the pose to come into and then join back in the practice whenever you're ready. Okay, so for child's pose, we're going to come out. Give those legs a little wiggle if they need it. And then you're going to come onto your knees. If that's not quite comfortable, you can get that handy little cushion again and you can pop it on your feet. Just giving you a little bit of space here, okay? From child's pose, from a kneeling position, you're going to bring the top of the forehead where the hairline starts to grow down onto your mat. That's going to allow you to point your nose towards your knees and allow you to breathe freely. Your hands can either come beside the body or you can rest your head on your hands. I'll demonstrate now. So full child's pose, you're going to bring the forehead down onto the mat and arms alongside the body so you can fully relax those shoulders. Now again, if that's not comfortable for you, feel free to bring your hands together and rest your head on your hands, okay? So get yourself comfy in your child's pose. Take a deep breath in, feel the tummy rise against the thighs, feel the rib cage expand and as you exhale, really relax those shoulders. Let the arms be floppy. Let the hips be heavy. And rest that forehead down on your mat. Taking a couple of lovely deep breaths here. With every inhale, feeling the body expand with the breath. And as you exhale, allow the body to be heavy. And allowing a lovely relaxation into the body and mind. Welcome that lovely feeling of stillness, of letting go, of relaxation. One more breath for me. Gorgeous. Okay, we're going to take a deep breath in and reach the arms in front. And exhale, relax the shoulders. I'd like you to take your pinky fingers to the edge of your mat. It's going to allow you to just relax and open those shoulders a little more. Resting the head down on the mat or keeping it lifted if that's more comfortable. Take a deep breath in and creep those fingertips a little bit further forward. And as you exhale, let your hips be heavy, lengthening the tailbone away from your fingertips and relaxing the shoulders. Lovely, well done. Take a deep breath in and I'd like you to come up onto all fours. From here, we're going to take the wrist directly underneath the shoulders. You're going to spread the fingers, middle finger pointing forward, and press down through your fingertips and your thumbs. You're then going to take the knees directly underneath the hips and press the tops of your feet into the mat. We're going to move through two pauses, cat pause and cow pause. And they're a lovely pause to get you to move with the breath and really feel the body moving with the breath, which is what yoga is, okay? We're going to start with an inhale 
and we're going to move into cow pose on an inhale. It starts with the tailbone and then you'll feel the wave move along the spine and finally the head moves, okay? So it's like this. As you inhale, lift the tailbone, let the tummy dip down, lift the chest, head and gaze. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine, drop the head, gaze back through the legs, fall towards the belly button, cat pose. Inhaling, lifting tailbone, let tummy dip down, lift chest, head and gaze, cow pose. Exhaling, tuck tailbone under, round the spine, drop the head, gaze to belly button, cat pose. Keep moving with your breath, inhaling, lifting tailbone, let tummy dip down, lift chest, head and gaze. And exhale, tuck tailbone under, round the spine, drop the head, gaze to belly button. Good, keep moving with your breath. Once you've got it, feel free to close the eyes and just lose yourself in your practice. Feeling the body move with intention through the pauses. Feeling the breath and the body uniting. This pose is really, really good for a healthy spine. Beautiful spine flexibility and also strengthening the wrist. You want to get a lovely stretch across your shoulders as you exhale, coming into cat pose, really push that floor away from you. We'll deepen the stretch across the tops of the shoulders. A couple more breaths for me. Last one. Gorgeous, well done. As you inhale, come to a neutral spine. I'd like you to take the big toes together now. Take the knees nice and wide. We're going to come into extended wide leg child's pose. You're going to take the hips back and bring the chest or maybe the forehead down onto your mat. And again, if you can, I'd like you to take your little fingers to the edge of your mat. Get a nice opening in the shoulders. Stay and breathe here. Let the hips be heavy. Relax the thighs. Nice deep breaths in and out through the nose, relaxing on every exhale. Well done guys, take a deep breath in, coming back up onto all fours. Taking the knees back underneath the hips and the hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to move into downward facing dog now. So I'd like you to just move your hands ever so slightly. It's only subtle movement forward of the shoulders. We're still really spreading the fingers and it's much more important your downward facing dog to spread those fingers and press down through your fingertips and your thumbs, okay? We don't want to be collapsing in the wrists. Press away with those fingertips. You're then going to work those inner elbows towards each other. So we're not winging out to the side. We're working those arms towards each other rolling the shoulders back and I like it keep your back nice and straight okay it's more important to have a straight back than rushing into it getting the heels down and rounding the spine okay so keep your knees nice and bent for the first one from here you're going to tuck your toes under take a deep breath in and as you exhale send those hips up and back bringing your head in between your upper arms you stay on the balls of the feet we're having a little bend in the knees from here, we're going to start to warm up the backs of the legs. So as you inhale, lift one heel and lower the other one down. And then we're swapping over. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your heel. Exhale, lowering down. Keep moving with the breath. Warming up the backs of the legs. Your feet want to be a decent hip distance apart, nothing too wide, just a you know, good hip distance apart. And you want to be gazing back through your legs so that your head is nice and comfortable in between your upper arms. Remember guys, if this is too much and you're feeling tired, you can drop down on your knees at any time and take child's pose, okay? If you're still with me, we're gonna warm up a little bit 
you can come with me four rounds of plank to downward facing dog. So from your downward facing dog pose, I'd like you to inhale, press through the balls of the feet and move your chest forward, shoulders over the wrists. And as you exhale, take it back into downward facing dog. I'm going to do three more of these. Inhaling, floating forward into plank. And exhaling, downward facing dog. Beautiful, just two more guys. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, take it back. Last one. Well done. Resting down in child's pose. Bring the arms alongside the body. If you're feeling it in the wrist, give the wrist a little bit of a rotation. Maybe squeeze and release the hands. And then rest the backs of the wrists down onto your mat. Fully relax those arms and relax your shoulders. Deep breaths in and out through the nose. Lovely, well done. Okay, we're going to move forward now. Inhale and bring those hands in front. Again, a good shoulder distance apart. And on your next inhale, come up onto all fours. You're going to come into downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under. Exhale, bottom up and back. Breathe. We're going to come into ragdoll pose now, so I'd like you to bend your knees a lot, look forward, take some little steps towards your hands. Feet are staying a hip distance apart, but still having a little bend in those knees. I'd like you to get your tummy onto your thighs, relax your head, relax your arms, so you're floppy like an old ragdoll. Take a couple of nice, deep, relaxing breaths here. If you want to, you can take hold of your elbows, helps to elongate the spine. Do a little figure of eight or a yes or a no with your head just to make sure that neck is nice and relaxed. We're not creating any tension in the neck or the shoulders. Also, if you'd like, you can have a little sway from side to side. So it's the torso that's swaying, okay? We're not swinging our arms. It's the whole of the body that's swaying from side to side. You'll feel the weight transition between each foot. You'll feel the stretch move along the backs of the legs as you sway. And then finding stillness in your right arm, release the arms. We're going to slowly come up to standing. The head and shoulders will be the last to come up. Take your time, guys. There is no rush at all. Starting to uncurl the spine, stacking one vertebrae on top of the other nice and slowly. And then when you reach the top, roll the shoulders back and lift the crown of the head. Do a couple of other shoulder rolls here. So as you inhale, roll those shoulders forward and up to the ears. And as you exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. A couple more, inhaling up and exhaling back and down. One more. Gorgeous. Okay, we're going to move through a classical sun salutation now. So come into the front of your mat with your feet together. You're going to come into mountain pose, Tadasana. Now this is a really lovely pose for your posture. It's a nice one to practice anywhere as well. So when you're waiting for the kettle to boil, you can come and practice your mountain pose and just focus on your breath. Taking yoga off the mat and nobody's going to know. Okay, but you'll feel better for it. So bringing those feet together. And then for the moment, I'd like you to lift your toes for me and spread your toes as if you're spreading your fingers. And then press down through the balls of your feet. That lovely meaty part behind the toes. Then ever so slightly transition your weight into the backs of the feet and feel for the edges of the heels. Then evenly distribute your weight through the feet, bring the toes down. Lengthen up through the legs, so we're lifting the energy upwards. Tucking the tailbone under, lengthening up through the side ribs, rolling your shoulders back and the crown of the head is lifted. Some nice deep breaths here. You bring your hands to your heart if you want to. Okay, 
Ready, a flow down sun salutation. Take a deep breath in and take those arms up, looking up to the thumbs if that's comfortable. As you exhale, forward fold, a little bend in the knees, tummy on the thighs, relax the head. Inhale, straighten the legs, bring the hands onto the shins, a nice flat back, gaze forward. As you exhale, bend your knees, bring your hands down, take a big step back with your right leg. Bring your right knee down and release your right toes. Just take a moment to make sure that left knee is directly on top of your left ankle. From here, you can either stay here and lift and lengthen if that's enough, or inhale, take those arms up, and as you exhale, sink down through those hips. Relax in the shoulders, tucking the tailbone under. If you need to get a little blanket for that knee, that's absolutely fine. Taking the gaze upwards if that's comfortable. If not, just keep your gaze forward. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring the hands down. Making sure that your shoulders are directly over the wrist. Spread the fingers. Tuck your back toes under. We're going to move into plank. So sliding that left back, left foot back to meet the right. From here, I'd like you to push back with your heels. Squeeze your legs together. Lift your kneecaps. Tuck your tailbone under. Tuck your belly button in and up. Push the floor away from you. Bring your knees down if you need to. Gazing forward, breathe smile <laughs> beautiful okay we're all going to bring the knees down release the toes take a deep breath in keep your core engaged and as you exhale come down with control hugging those elbows into the rib cage it's almost as if you're pushing the floor away from you from here we're going to go into cobra lengthen the legs away from you press down through the tops of the feet press your pubic bone into the mat roll your shoulders back and hug your elbows in you can go from here, if you're used to cobra, if you want a gentler back bend, I advise bringing your hands forward and you'll come up a little bit more, a little bit less, okay? If you're coming up with me with cobra, squeeze those elbows in again, roll your shoulders back, take a deep breath in, lift your heart, roll your shoulders back. Now I don't want to see this, I don't want to see any shoulders scrunched up, pull them back and down, lifting your heart. Exhale, come down. Inhale, take it into child's pose. Option to rest here, or exhale, tuck toes under, downward facing dog. Stay and breathe. So again, we're making sure our feet are a hip distance apart. We're working those elbows towards each other, pressing down through your fingertips and your thumbs. Head is in between your upper arms and you're gazing back through your legs, sending those hips back and up. Remember, can still have a bend in those knees if we still feel a bit tight in the backs of those legs. Everybody's different and it's important that you listen to your body. Do what feels right for you. Okay, we're going to come down and come into our front lunge on our right leg again. So a couple of ways you can come down. You can come onto your knees and then bring that right leg forward. Again, making sure your knee is above your ankle and not, not, not this, okay? Make sure it's directly in line with it. Or you can bring it out to the side and bring it round if that's a bit more comfortable, okay? Or if you want a stronger transition, you can move from your downward facing dog, hook that right knee into the tummy and step it through, okay? Once you've got that right leg through, I'd like you to bring your left knee down, release the toes, and again, you can lift and lengthen here, or take it up into your low lunge. Again, as you exhale, sink down to those hips, relax the shoulders, tuck your tailbone under, lift the heart and gaze upwards. If that's not comfortable, keep your gaze forward. Gorgeous, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna to step to the front of the mat, a little rocking motion. Tuck your back toes under, and it's a little rock to the front. We're then inhaling, lifting the gaze, nice straight leg, flat spine. Exhale, forward fold, little bend in the knees. Inhale, take those arms up, gazing up to the thumbs, and exhale, mountain pose. We're gonna do exactly the same on the left side now. So if you've traveled, Come back to the front of your mat, find mountain pose, pressing down to the feet, lengthening up to the body, tucking tailbone under. 
Take a deep breath in, take those arms up, look to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, little bend in the knees, tummy on the thighs, relax the head. Inhale, straighten the legs, flat back, gaze forward. Exhale, bring the hands down, big step back with that left leg. Bring your left knee down, release the toes. Checking our alignment is correct. Inhale, take those arms up. And exhale, sink down to the hips. Beautiful, stay and breathe. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down. Shoulders over the wrist. Gaze forward, tuck your back toes under a stepping back into plank. Remember guys, you can bring your knees down at any time. If not, try and stay and breathe with me. Push back through those heels, lift the kneecaps, squeeze legs together, tuck tailbone under, so can belly button in and up, push the floor away from you. Got this, breathe. Well done. Bring the knees down, release the toes, keep that core engaged, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, hug elbows in, coming all the way down to the ground. Remember, if you want a gentle back bend, bring those hands further forward. If not, keep them in line with the chest. Roll the shoulders back, hug elbows in, press feet and pubic bone into the mat. And inhale, lift the heart, rolling those shoulders back and down. Exhale, come down. Inhale, take it into child's pose. Again, option to rest. Or exhale, tuck toes under, downward facing dog. And breathe. Working those hips back, working those elbows towards each other, pressing down through your fingertips and your thumbs, and gazing back through your legs. Beautiful, well done. Okay, we're going to come forward into our left lunge now. So again, you can come down onto your knees and bring that left leg forward, making sure your left knee is on top of your left ankle, or from your downward facing dog, you can hug it in to your tummy, the left knee into your tummy, and step it to the front. And bringing that right knee down, everybody, and releasing your right toes. Inhale, take those arms up, and as you exhale, sink down to the hips. Good. Remembering to relax the shoulders, but lengthening up through the heart and the arms. Beautiful work, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring the hands down. We're gonna rock it to the front of the mat. Inhaling, lifting gaze. Exhale, forward fold. And then inhale, come all the way up. Looking up to the hands. And as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart centre. We're gonna have a moment of stillness now, so close the eyes. Bring the hands to the heart. Lengthening the body upwards to the sky. Relaxing the shoulders. Smoothing out the brow. Relaxing the jaw. And just tuning in with the body, noticing how you're feeling. Tuning in with the breath, noticing how the breath is. Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Noticing how the mind is. Is it quiet? Is it still chattering away? Lovely. And open the eyes. So we're going to step out sideways on our mat now. Coming into Warrior 2, Virabhadrasana 2. So I'd like you to take your legs a good legs distance apart, okay? And we're going to line up the heels with the back edge of your mat. It's important that you have your legs a good distance apart. If you've got a shallow stance or a narrow stance, when we turn our feet and come into it, which I'll explain in a moment, your knee is going to go past your ankle, which is not what we want, okay? So taking those legs nice and long. And then I'd like you to turn your left leg so that the foot is running parallel with the long edge of your mat. Press down to the big toe. I'd like then you to turn your back foot in ever so slightly. And then bringing your awareness to the hips, they might have teapotted, okay? So lift them up, tuck your tailbone under, 
and then making sure that our hips open to the square, uh, to the long edge of your mat. So you might have noticed they've gone ever so slightly to the left, yeah? So making sure that they're forward facing. Tuck your tailbone under. In your warrior two, your shoulders stay stacked over your hips, okay? So we don't lean into it like a surfer, okay? So staying up nice and tall, relax the shoulders, take the arms out nice and long. I want you to reach away with those fingers and arms, but try and keep the shoulders relaxed. You're then going to turn the head and gaze to your front middle finger. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to bend your left knee. Again, making sure that knee isn't going over your ankle, okay? Good indication is if you can still see your big toe. Relaxing shoulders, making sure your shoulders are stacked over hips. Gaze into your front middle finger, breathe. Another thing to be watchful for in this pose is that knee might get lazy and start to roll in towards the big toe. Actively open it out towards your little toe and you'll feel those inner thighs switch on. Press strongly down through the feet. Really good guys, well done. We're going to do reverse warrior, so bring your back hand down, turn your front hand up and as you inhale, take the arm up and look upwards. Exhale back to warrior two. Good, one more. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. We're going to do that on the other side now. So straighten that left leg, pivot in on the feet, keeping your stance the same as you can. Again, that right foot now is lined up with the long edge of your mat, relaxing the shoulders, press down through the feet, reach away those arms. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend your right knee. Again, we're checking, see if we can see our big toe. We're making sure that knee isn't rolling in towards the big toe. Relax the shoulders, tuck your tailbone under, breathe. Okay, we're going to do two reverse warriors. Bring that back hand down, front hand up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. One more. Inhale, exhale, beautiful, bring your hands on your hips, straighten your leg and now I'd like you to turn your toes in for me please. And then you're going to take your hands together behind your back, roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, breathe, looking upwards. You can either stay like this or you can come into a forward fold with me. Take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips, bringing the crown of the head down towards the ground, arms up overhead. Relax the shoulders here. And press down into your big toes. Gravity work, it's magic. Let those arms be heavy. Relax the shoulders. Well done. We're going to slowly come up whenever you're ready. Press down into your feet, engage your core, and inhale, lifting the body back up. And exhale, release the pose, give it a little wiggle, heel toe those feet in, give the legs a little jiggle if you need to. We're going to come down to our mat now, get ourselves ready for relaxation. So again, come into the front of your mat, we'll come down with a little floor, kind of like a little mini sun salutation. So come and find mountain pose, get nice and still. Take a deep breath in, take those arms up, look up to the thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, little bend in the knees, bow the head. Inhale, lift the gaze. We're going to step it straight back into downward facing dog now. So you can either do one step with your right and then your left, or you can do some little steps and walk it back. Okay? Have a couple of breaths in your downward facing dog for me. See how deep we can get into it now, we're nice and warm. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, send those hips back. Getting your chest a little closer to your thighs. Keep working those elbows towards each other. Keep pressing down strongly through your fingertips and your thumbs. Especially your index finger and your thumbs. 
Let your heels be heavy. They don't need to touch the floor. Just let them be heavy. Okay, we're going to come down onto our mats now. We're coming down onto your knees. You can either come onto your bottom however is comfortable or you can cross your ankles behind you and take your bottom back, finding yourself in a cross leg position. From here we're going to stretch the legs out nice and long. And again I want you to be thinking about that pelvis, okay, so we're not letting it fall back, we're keeping it forward. If you want to get your little cushion again, feel free, remember we're just sitting on the edge, okay just on the edge to allow us to tilt that pelvis forward. Then naturally the legs will want to flop out to the side. So I want you to internally rotate those legs towards each other and then push away with the heels. So you're sending the energy out through the heels, broaden across the balls of the feet, but then soften the toes. And then press the backs of the knees into your mat. The hands want to come really close to the hips, almost if the shoulders were over the wrists. From here, we're going to take a deep breath in, lift and lengthen through the body, lifting the crown of the head. And as you exhale, roll those shoulders back and down, and then keeping the body as it is, I just want you to slowly dip the head down so the chin is coming closer to the chest, and take your gaze towards your big toes, and breathe. into a forward fold now, Paschimottanasana. Inhale, take those arms up, really lengthen through the body, it's going to help. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and I want you to lead with the chin and the chest, keeping that spine nice and straight. Really imagine that you're reaching for something past your feet. Now you might be just here and that's fine. Bringing the hands down so you can relax the shoulders, keeping the backs of the legs Feel that stretch in the backs of the legs, okay? If you want to soften the knees here, you can do. If you can come down a little bit further, come down as far as comfortable for you. If you can reach the feet, take hold of the feet, but don't do that if you're really tense, tensed up, yeah? Bring the hands down. I don't want you to force anything, I just want you to relax into it. Wherever you're at, I want you to take another nice deep breath in and lift and lengthen through the spine, lifting the heart. And as you exhale, melt down again. Relax in the shoulders, relax in the neck, and I want you to keep that gaze on your big toes, okay? I don't want you to drop your head into your knees and get too much pressure on the back of your neck. I want you to keep lengthening forward with the chin and the chest. And breathe. Really focus on your exhales here. Nice, deep, relaxing exhalations. And then take a nice deep breath in, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, release the pose. We're going to come into Shavasana, which is relaxation. If you want to, you can keep your pillow for your head. You can move it to the side, whatever you like. I'd like you to take your legs a mat distance apart. Feel free to put any socks on or jumpers or get yourself a blanket, get nice and cosy. We're going to come down using the core. If that's not working for you today, you can just walk yourself down, okay? If you're coming with me, point the toes, tuck the chin into the sternum, palms facing up, and come all the way down with control. And then let your feet and ankles flop out to the side. Take a moment to tuck your tailbone under so your lower back's nice and comfortable. Roll your shoulders away from your ears. Your hands want to be slightly out to the side forearms off your mat, palms facing up. Take a moment to lift the head, lengthen it and bring it back down. Close in the eyes and welcoming a lovely, well-deserved Shavasana. Deep relaxation. Letting the body be heavy. Let it settle down into your mat. Softening the feet, softening and relaxing the toes. Let the backs of the legs be heavy. Soften the knees. And 
relaxing through the thighs and the glutes and the hips. Allow the back and shoulders and arms to be heavy and relaxed. Lovely relaxed hands, fingers ever so slightly curling. Noticing any sensations in the palms of your hands. Tummy is nice and soft and relaxed. The neck is long and the head is heavy and the body is feeling supported by the earth. Relax and soft in the face. Smoothing out the brow and the forehead, softening around the eyes, relaxing the jaw. Allowing the lovely stillness of the body and the mind. to bring yourself out of Shavasana, out of relaxation, starting to bring some movement to the fingers and the toes and deepening the breath. Bring some movement to the legs and the arms. Take a nice deep breath in, reach the arms up over heads, exhaling, bending elbows. Take a deep breath in, reach the fingertips away from your feet. And as you exhale, bringing your knees into the tummy, give yourself a lovely hug. Maybe a little rock from side to side. Just keeping the eyes closed for a moment, I'd like you to roll onto your right side or left side if you've got any issues with your blood pressure today. slowly pushing yourself up into the seated position. Again, your legs can be nice and long or you can cross your legs. Bring the hands to the heart, bow the head. Just have a moment of stillness to end your practice. Maybe tuning in with the body and the mind, noticing if there's any changes in how you're feeling from the beginning through to the end of your practice. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat. Hope to see you next time. Namaste.